In this video, we're going to state and prove a theorem involving operators. And I'm going to call a lot of this material basically optional. It's kind of technical, and we'll use it once in a proof and then never again. But you should at least know what an operator is. That's a standard tool that any mathematician should have in their toolbox. An operator is a function of functions. And the premier example of an operator is differentiation. You can think of differentiation as a function. The statement that the derivative of the sine is the cosine, for example, can be written like this using function notation where D is the differentiation operator. And we will state and prove a theorem or two about operators. In particular, we're going to look at a theorem involving a special kind of operator called a polynomial differential operator. So the operators are functions, but we don't normally use this parenthesis notation. We don't normally use function notation. We normally just write the operator in front of the function without any parentheses or other notation. And in this definition, these a's are fixed constants. This d is differentiation. This d squared represents the second derivative, and so on. An example will clarify this definition. Let's say y equals x cubed, and let's say L is um, 2y plus 3dy minus 4 d squared y. So we have a polynomial differential operator, and we have some specific function we'll apply this to. Then L applied to this function is twice the function. plus three times the derivative of the function. Minus four times the second derivative of the function. Polynomial operators have a very special property, and that's that they commute. If L1 and L2 are polynomial differential operators, then L1, L2, Y equals L2, L1, Y. And when you see this written out like this, it looks obvious. 
but it's not obvious at all. Remember that this is not multiplication. L1 and L2 are functions. What we have here is composition. L1 of L2 of Y and L2 of L1 of Y. And ordinarily, composition doesn't commute. For most functions, you would not expect this and this to be equal. But for polynomial differential operators, they are equal. And at this point, I suppose you could really uh, turn off this video, but let's go ahead and give a proof just for the record. Even so, the proof I'm going to give is only for the special case that we're going to look at later and use later in this course. In particular, although the theorem is true as stated, we're only going to prove it in the special case where our polynomial differential operators have this simple form, because that's all we're going to use in Math 330. And let's prove this. Let's write down PQY. Remember, this looks like multiplication, but it isn't multiplication. This is a function applied to a function applied to an input. It's composition. Now, composition is associative. So we can put in parentheses and look at these terms first. By definition, d minus by is this. This is how we defined a linear differential operator. And now we have a linear differential operator applied to a function. Again, we'll just use the definition of the linear differential operator, which is that it's the derivative of this minus a times this. Now, differentiation is linear. So this is y double prime minus by prime. Now, this is really is just multiplication. We had this stuff that looked like multiplication but wasn't. This really is just a constant times a difference. And there's d minus a of d minus b of y. We'll rearrange these terms. And now we'll basically go back up this series of steps. y double prime minus a y is y, my, sorry, y double prime minus a y prime is y prime minus a y prime minus b y prime minus a y. So we've basically gone up here, except now our A's and B's are in different places. This is D minus B 
W applied to Y prime minus A Y. We've gone up to here, except our A's and B's are in different places. This is D minus B applied to D minus A Y. We are up to here, except our A's and B's are in different places. And this is D minus B applied to D minus A applied to Y. So this equals this exactly as we wanted. Now, in addition to the theorem itself, there's kind of a takeaway message from this. I kept emphasizing that we had this stuff that looked like multiplication, but isn't multiplication. So this, this is composition, not multiplication. But you see that it did act like, comp like multiplication. Like all of these steps, this thing, this composition that looked like multiplication acted like multiplication. This D minus B applied to Y, not multiplication, but it behaves like multiplication. It's a dy minus by, and so on. Let's state a take home message from this proof. We can multiply polynomials of D like real polynomials. So say we have D minus two applied to D squared minus D plus one. This isn't multiplication, it's composition. This isn't a polynomial. This d squared represents the second derivative. We're not actually squaring anything. Nevertheless, we can deal with this exactly as if it were. a real polynomial. We can multiply, we can um, combine like terms, all the stuff we could do if this were a real polynomial. We can do 